The FDA has approved a new drug to treat hot flashes in menopausal women. That surprise move came after an FDA panel voted against approving the medication. Dr. Tara Shirazian is a gynecologist at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, explain what this new drug is and why it may offer some hope for women. Well, this new drug consists of paroxetine, which is a generic medication that is used for symptomatic hot flashes. And we've actually been using it in the OBGYN community for years um, for the off-label indication um, to treat symptomatic hot flashes. So what does it do? So what it does is it decreases the intensity and the severity of hot flashes. And with 75% of women suffering from hot flashes between the ages of 45 and 55, it really allows the majority of women who are menopausal to benefit from the symptomatic debilitating issues um, that hot flashes bring each day. Just make, you may have covered that there, but yeah. there have been a series of drugs. How does this drug add to change what's been happening before? Well, this drug is actually a slightly lower dose of the brand name drug Paxil. So Paxil is a, the lowest dose of Paxil is about 10 milligrams, and this new drug is 7.5. So it is a slightly lower dose. So we're very hopeful that it will decrease some of the side effects or adverse reactions to paroxetine that a lot of women face. And what is the speculation as to why a panel uh, disagreed with the FDA? Well, I can't say definitively why, because I wasn't on the panel, but, um, you know, definitely that uh, advisory committee waits for data, so likely they didn't find the scientific data compelling, quite compelling enough. But as I said, we have been using paroxetine in the GYN community for years now for treatment of symptomatic hot flashes. You've been using it as Paxil, which is an antidepressant. Which is an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. I've been using it personally in my practice in New York City. I have over 50% of my patients are menopausal. So for women who are experiencing hot flashes, who don't want to use drugs that have hormones in them, is this kind of the new science? Yes, definitely. There are a lot of women who can't use hormone replacement therapy, and we're, we understand more and more about the issues related to estrogen and progesterone each day. Uh, more and more, we have more and more accumulated data. Uh, but women who would benefit from this are women who have history of blood clots, um, who have family histories that are significant for blood clots, women who have personal histories of breast cancer, women who are using tamoxifen, or women that have very significant family histories of breast cancer. So it definitely opens up that door to more people. Doctor, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.